How often is someone injured in a drunk driving accident? Every two minutes. Every 51 minutes, someone is killed due to a drunk driving accident. Today, I will be sharing a story of a woman who killed somebody drunk driving and the ways that it can affect, affect your life and your mental health and ways to stop it. So according to BNP Media, a young woman named Christine Alexander got behind the wheel with a blood concentration level of 0.14, which is almost double the legal limit. When driving behind her boyfriend, who was on a motorcycle, she hit him and he flew 65 feet in the air, crashed onto her windshield, then landed on the pavement and did not survive. This is just one way we have seen drunk driving effects affect lives in the United States. Drunk driving accidents happen everywhere, including right down the road. Most of you already have some knowledge on the dangers of drunk driving and the effects it can have on your life. However, some of you still continue to drive after alcohol consumption. This is a time where we all have a little more freedom. freedom. Most of us are getting closer to the age where we are influenced more by alcohol and we will need to control our decisions. This may make people want to do things their parents would disapprove of, but if you value your safety, then you should consider your decisions before drinking and driving. Through my years in high school, I've seen a lot of friends pick up this habit. I have read countless articles on how badly it can affect lives around you. Throughout this speech, I will provide information on the problem with drinking and driving, what those problems are, and how to go about solving them. So this is just um, a survey that was taken um, with people asking if they would drive drunk or have ever. And so 45% of men said they did, and 35% of women said they did. Okay, so let's go back to that girl who killed her boyfriend driving in front of her on a motorcycle. According to Christine Alexander, she was distracted by not only being under the influence, but her cell phone. This is a story that affected her life, her boyfriend's life, and all the friends and family involved. She stated that she was shocked at the decision she made and what it did. This is a big problem considering she didn't think it would have any consequences. Christine Alexander was sentenced to 120 days of shock treatment in a women's correctional facility. Um, something that surprised me about drunk driving is the cost. The total amount drunk driving costs the United States every year is $199 billion. Um, the effects it has on your mental health. So, in an article by motosafety.com, short-term judgment can lead to long-term effects on you and your life. One of 10 high school teens drink and drive for a total of 2.4 million times per month. This has led to over a third of traffic-related deaths in the United States. Alcohol is not only illegal for these teens, but unsafe for them to be consuming. Teens who consume alcohol, especially underage, can lead to many different effects on their mental health and can be, can be connected to alcohol abuse and mental disorder. Alcohol consumption and effects after an accident of driving under the influence can lead to depression, an eating disorder, and other personal disorders. Um, the aftermath of what could happen when drinking and driving can cause you to feel guilty the rest of your life. And I just like that picture because it's just right on. Drive hammered, get nailed. Um, the, some solutions. First, don't drive if you drink. Don't start either because then you will start to think it's okay and do it often. Um, if you do drink and drive, there are ways to stop. Many people use common sense when making their decisions. You just have to make the right choice. Another way is asking for a ride before consuming alcohol. 
having someone you can call or a designated driver is always a good idea. There are other methods to quit, but these are just the most common. According to drivinglaws.org, there is an ignition interlock device, or an IID, also known as a breathalyzer, that is connected to vehicles. When completely in installed, the vehicle won't start unless the driver breathes into it with an alcohol-free breath. The price for this device ranges from $50 to $150 for installation and monthly. So then that means you pay $50 to $100 to install it, and then you pay that again every month. Um, but it would be worth it if it saved you or another driver's life. In conclusion, you're probably wondering why I want to encourage you this now, but according to thezebra.com, college students are the most likely to drink and drive. Throughout this speech, I discuss drinking and driving and the effects it has on the mind and other drivers on the road. I want all of you to think about the information I presented in this speech and think about how those things could affect your life. Hopefully this information can sway you to stop drinking and driving if you ever do and not if you haven't. Quit, quitting drinking and driving can help you stay safer, save your life and others, and have less risks. If you must drink and drive, drink Pepsi. Thank you.